Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 113 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This case uh, is another case that illustrates difficulties with the DK crash technique. The patient had previous coronary bypass graft, presented with uh, angina and ischemia on the anterior and anterior lateral wall. He did have significant disease at the ostium of a diagonal branch, as well as the proximal LAD that did supply several septal branches. These are some additional views. Again, there is tight uh, disease in the ostium of the diagonal. There is significant disease in the proximal LAD as well as the mid-LAD. This is clearly a complex bifurcation lesion, and the diagonal branch appears to be of um, big enough size. So how to treat it? This is the overall bifurcation treatment strategy for selecting the stenting strategy. In this case, the side branch needs to be preserved. The likelihood of occluding it is high. Therefore, this is an example for doing a planned two-stent strategy. The angle was less than 70, so the most common techniques are DK, crass, and culotte, and DK cross is a technique we most commonly use in our lab for these bifurcations. We asked for a 7 French EBU 3.75 guide, but actually got a 6 French one, and we did not realize it until after we were doing the procedure. So another lesson here is to always check your equipment before you start the case, because as we will see, having a larger guide would have probably made the procedure much easier, even though eventually it was successful using the six friends guide. After doing that, we wired both the LED as well as the diagonal branch using workhorse guide wires. We predilated both vessels, the diagonal as well as the LED, and there was good expansion of the stand. And then we still have good flow after the uh, predilatation is performed. We had to fix the position of the diagonal guide wire. The LED wire was actually into a septal branch. The DK crush is a great technique, but it's complex and has multiple steps, 17 to be specific. So we started with the first step, which was to deliver a stand into the diagonal. This was actually very challenging, despite the predilatation. So we did additional preparation of the vessel with additional predilatations. We also have a balloon in the main vessel, both for using the side branch anchoring technique and delivering equipment, but also because after the stand is deployed, then the next step is to crush the stand. What to do if there is difficulty delivering a stand? One is to use a larger guide, which unfortunately we had not done earlier on. Use a different guide wire, for example, a body wire or a wiggle wire. Prepare the lesion better, either with balloons or with atherectomy or intravascular lithotripsy. Use a different kind stand, a more deliverable stand, or other techniques like deep breath from the patient, or use, using uh, lubricious solutions. In this case, after predilatation, we used an orsiro stand that is uh, very deliverable because of the thin strata size, and this uh, successfully delivered into the diagonal branch. We confirmed that we had a few millimeters, two, three millimeters of stand protruding into the proximal LAD, and then uh, the diagonal stand was deployed. Before doing anything else, we confirmed that the diagonal looked good, there was no distal edge dissection, the stand was well expanded, and then we crushed the stand with a balloon we had into the LAD. However, rewiring was very challenging, and actually we ended up uh, having to remove uh, the LAD balloon, there was some um, difficulty delivering the wire eventually, however, the rewiring was successful. But then, we could not uh, reinsert the LAD balloon. And uh, these are some of the potential challenges with DK crash technique, which is uh, difficulty delivering balloons and stents. The solution is to use different balloons, lower profile, or use a microcatheter, or increase the guide support, or use a wiggle wire. And if there is no stand, use a therectomy. Of course, that's not an option here since we have already placed the stand. Eventually, we were able to use smaller balloons, a 2.0 millimeter balloon but still could not get back uh, the LAD balloon of the original size. So we ended up rewiring the diagonal branch, which was uh, not easy. When doing the rewiring, after uh, crossing the diagonal stand, we want to cross from a proximal strut, but of course this can sometimes be challenging 
um, in uh, patients who have relatively small vessel size as well as significant calcification. We had difficulty getting the wire. Eventually, we did use a polymer jacketed, C on black, that uh, successfully crossed into the diagonal branch. It is good to have uh, the previous wire in place as a marker of the course of the vessel. We were eventually then able to deliver the balloon in the LAD, and then uh, we try to deliver a balloon into the diagonal to do the first kissing balloon, but we cannot get the balloon in the diagonal, and actually, if one looks carefully, there is a kinking of the guide wire. The diagonal guide wire has been kinked. We tried to use a microcatheter to salvage the situation, but um, we were unable to advance it uh, into the um, diagonal branch. And eventually we did have uh, to remove the wire. We can see here that there is a huge loop of the diagonal wire all the way into the left main. So that was part of the problem. The wire was kinked. And after it was removed, we did see that indeed there was a significant kink of the guide wire. Once again, we had difficulty rewiring. Again, DK crush is not always an easy technique. We used uh, uh, different techniques, different guide wires, uh, different microcatheters. Eventually, we were able to wire it. We then used the Subfire Pro 1.0 millimeter, the lowest profile balloon, followed by slightly larger balloon 1.5 and then a 2.0 millimeter balloon could be delivered, so gradually increasing the sizes of the balloon. And finally, after quite some time, we were able to do our first kissing balloon inflation. The vessel looked good after the kissing, both the LED and the diagonal looked okay. So we proceeded with uh, delivering the stent into the LED, and then uh, position it properly so it doesn't protrude too much into the left main. It was successfully deployed. But then once again, we had similar challenges. We have to now wire again into the diagonal and then do the second kissing balloon inflation. And rewiring was, for one more time, quite challenging. The polymer jacketed C on black wire once again provided a, a solution. Um, the wire was eventually advanced. In this case, we do want to wire through a distal strut. But of course, sometimes it's difficult to be 100% certain about where the wire is, although OCT can help in that respect in some cases. We then uh, uh, try to deliver a 2.5 millimeter balloon into the diagonal branch, which uh, fortunately um, was delivered. Another balloon into the LED, which was also difficult to deliver, but eventually made it. And then did the final second kissing balloon inflation followed by the proximal optimization technique with a short 6 millimeter, 3.0 millimeter balloon. And that gave uh, finally a nice result. This is the areocranial and this is the aleocaudal view. Good flow in both the LED as well as a diagonal branch. Here are some thoughts regarding this case. The first one is to always check the equipment that is given to you, whether this is a guides or wires or balloons or stents. In this case, we ended up doing this uh, procedure using a six French guide. And I am certain that if we had a seven French or an eight French, it would be much easier to deliver equipment and get the procedure successfully done. For difficulty rewiring, one of the potential causes that played a role in this case was kinking of the guide wire. And therefore, when that happens, one needs to replace the wire. It is very hard to deliver equipment over a kinked guide wire. And finally, the two major categories of problems using DK crush and most bifurcation techniques is to advance a guide wire and to advance balloons and stands. And having an algorithm about how to approach these problems can be very useful in challenging cases like this one. Specifically for rewiring, one can use different guide wires. Polymer jacketed wires can help. Sometimes using a microcaster can help as well. In terms of uh, delivery, good preparation with balloons before is important. Having more support, for example, with ex a guide extension or using a side branch anchoring can be very useful as well. And delivering thin strut stats can be easier than delivering thicker stance strands. So in summary, DK crush uh, 
is a technique with good long-term outcomes, but can be challenging to perform. And having good guide support and uh, good algorithms for tackling potential difficulties can lead to a successful outcome. Thank you.